Have you ever felt entrapped in an invisible web, manipulated and controlled by someone close to you? Welcome to the complex web of narcissistic control, a domain where individuals use manipulative tactics to exploit those around them. These tactics are not always overt. They can be subtle, insidious, and are often masked by seemingly genuine concern or affection. One such tactic is gaslighting, a form of psychological manipulation where the perpetrator sows seeds of doubt in the victim's mind, making them question their own memory, perception, or sanity. Picture this. You're certain you had a conversation about something important, but the other person denies it ever happened. Over time, this can lead to confusion, anxiety, and a loss of self-confidence. Another tactic is emotional manipulation, a strategy where the manipulator uses your emotions against you. They might use guilt, fear, or obligation to control your actions or decisions. For instance, they might say things like, if you really loved me, you would do this for me or I can't believe you would hurt me like this. These statements are designed to make you feel guilty or afraid, thus coercing you into doing what they want. Psychological exploitation is yet another disturbing tool in the narcissist's arsenal. This involves the manipulator taking advantage of your vulnerabilities, insecurities, or past traumas to control you. They might use your deepest fears or insecurities against you, making you feel small, insignificant, or unworthy. These tactics can have a profound impact on the victim's mental and emotional well-being, leading to a range of problems including anxiety, depression, and low self-esteem. The victim often feels trapped, isolated, and powerless, struggling to see a way out of the situation. But remember, knowledge is power. By understanding these tactics, recognizing the signs, and acknowledging their harmful effects, we can begin to untangle this complex web. It's not easy, and it takes time and courage, but it is possible. Understanding these tactics is the first step to breaking free from the invisible chains of narcissistic control. In the realm of Greek mythology, a tale resonates that mirrors this insidious form of control, the tale of Medusa. Once a beautiful maiden, Medusa was renowned for her stunning hair and irresistible charm. But her life took a turn for the worse when she crossed paths with the mighty god of the sea, Poseidon. He, bewitched by her beauty, forced himself upon her in Athena's temple, a sacred place of worship. When Athena discovered this, she was furious, not at Poseidon, but at Medusa. Instead of seeking justice, Athena punished Medusa, transforming her into a monstrous creature. Her beautiful locks turned into writhing serpents, and her once captivating gaze became a curse that turned onlookers into stone. This transformation was a cruel symbol of her victimization. Medusa was not only punished for Poseidon's actions, but she was also shamed and isolated, banished to live alone on an island at the edge of the world. Her new monstrous form became a physical embodiment of the trauma and humiliation she had endured. But Medusa's story is more than just a tale of tragedy. It's also a story of resilience. Despite her circumstances, Medusa did not crumble under the weight of her suffering. Instead, she became a symbol of power and fear, turning her curse into her strength. No longer was she a mere mortal, but a formidable creature, respected and feared by all. Her story teaches us about the consequences of narcissistic control and manipulation, and the devastating effects it can have on a person's life. But it also shows us the power of resilience and transformation, and how one can rise above adversity, even in the face of the most challenging circumstances. Medusa's tale is a grim reminder of how manipulation can change a person's life, but it also offers a glimmer of hope. It teaches us that we have the power to transform our pain into strength, to turn our curses into blessings, and to rise above the hardships that life throws at us, just like Medusa did. In adversity, Medusa found resilience, transforming her curse into a formidable power. Isn't this true for many women who face narcissistic control? Just as Medusa's tale is one of transformation and resilience, so too are the stories of countless women who have been ensnared in the web of narcissistic control. The journey may be fraught with challenges and heartbreak, but it can also lead to remarkable strength and empowerment. Imagine Medusa, once a beautiful maiden, transformed into a creature with venomous snakes for hair, a gaze that turns onlookers to stone. This was not a change she asked for, but one that was thrust upon her, and yet, she adapted. She learned to wield her new form, turning a curse into a power that none could contest. 
Similarly, many women find themselves manipulated and controlled by narcissistic individuals. They are made to feel small, insignificant, powerless. Yet in the face of such adversity, they too transform. They learn, they adapt, and they grow stronger. What was once a source of pain becomes a catalyst for change and empowerment. Just as Medusa learned to use her curse as a form of protection, these women learn to transform their experiences into resilience. They rise from the ashes, stronger and more formidable than before. They turn their pain into power, their hardship into courage, their adversity into resilience. Each woman's journey is unique, yet they all share a common thread, the power of transformation and resilience. They learn to navigate the storm, to weather the waves, and emerge on the other side, not as victims, but as survivors, as warriors. They, like Medusa, become symbols of strength, of resilience, of transformation. And so, we see that Medusa's tale is not just a myth. It's a reflection of the strength and resilience of countless women who face adversity and transform it into empowerment. It's a testament to the power of resilience, the ability to adapt and grow in the face of hardship. Just like Medusa, many women convert their experiences into a source of power and resilience. How then can one recognize the signs of narcissistic control? A question that resonates deeply with many of us. The first step is to understand the tactics employed by narcissistic individuals. They often use manipulation, gaslighting, and emotional abuse to exert control. These behaviors can be subtle and insidious, making them difficult to recognize. However, awareness is the key to unlocking the chains of control. Narcissistic individuals may belittle their partners, making them feel inadequate or unworthy. They may also excessively criticize or blame their partners for their own failures, creating a cycle of guilt and self-doubt. This is a classic tactic to maintain control and keep their partners second-guessing their own worth and abilities. Another common tactic is gaslighting, a form of psychological manipulation where the abuser causes the victim to question their own sanity, perception, or memory. They might deny things that have happened or twist the truth to suit their narrative. It's like being trapped in a mirror maze, where reality is distorted and confusing. So how can you break free? Establishing boundaries is crucial. This means asserting your own needs and rights and not allowing anyone to violate them. It's about standing up for yourself and saying, no, this is not okay. Remember, it's not your responsibility to fix or change a narcissistic individual. They need professional help, and so might you. Don't hesitate to seek support from a therapist or a support group. These professionals can provide the tools and strategies you need to navigate this difficult journey. It's important to know that breaking free from narcissistic control is not an easy process. It takes time, strength, and resilience. But just like Medusa, you can transform adversity into empowerment. You can reclaim your life and emerge stronger just like the countless women who have walked this path before you. Knowledge is power, and recognizing these signs is the gateway to liberation. So let's arm ourselves with knowledge, stand tall, and break free from the chains of narcissistic control. Let's reclaim our power and forge our own paths towards liberation and empowerment. The tales of many women echo the story of Medusa, tales of transformation and empowerment. Take, for instance, Ava. Ava was entwined in a relationship that felt more like a maze than a partnership. She was constantly belittled, her self-esteem chiseled away day by day. But Ava, much like Medusa, found her strength. She sought help, educated herself on the tactics of manipulation, and found her way out of the labyrinth. Today, Ava is a beacon of hope for others, using her experiences to guide those lost in similar mazes. Then there's Zoe. Zoe was manipulated into believing she was the villain in her own story, much like Medusa was painted as a monster. But Zoe did not let this false narrative define her. She uncovered the truth, recognized the manipulation for what it was, and took control of her own narrative. Zoe's strength and resilience not only helped her regain her life, but also inspired others to question the roles they've been assigned. And let's not forget about Maya. Maya was trapped in a cycle of narcissistic control that left her feeling powerless. But she found her inner Medusa, her inner strength and resilience. Maya transformed the adversity she faced into empowerment, breaking free from her chains and emerging stronger than ever. Her journey serves as a testament to the power of transformation and the human spirit's indomitable resilience. 
Each of these women, Ava, Zoe, and Maya, echo the tale of Medusa in their journeys. They faced adversity, they were manipulated and controlled, but they did not let that define them. Instead, they found their strength, they transformed, and they emerged stronger, wiser, and more resilient. As we navigate the labyrinth of relationships, let Medusa's tale remind us of our potential to transform adversity into empowerment. After all, each one of us has the power to defy our Poseidons and reclaim our narratives.